G'day folks, Luke here from Fish That Snag. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. Today we're doing a product review of the six inch dome port from Telesen. Now I have to be upfront with you folks, Telesen are not paying me for this video review of their product. However, they did send me the six inch camera dome at no cost to myself. Now a few years ago, I did actually review the first ever camera dome that was released by Telesen. This is it here. Okay, it's still going strong. It hasn't broken and it's produced some fantastic footage. The original dome was designed for the GoPro 3, so I'm very keen to see how it compares with the latest model, which is designed for the GoPro 5. Now, if you want to see the original review that I did on the first model camera dome from Telesen, I'll put the link in the description below and also up here somewhere on the screen about now. Now you might be wondering what in the world is a six inch camera dome and, and why would I possibly want to look at it? Well, this is one of the devices that we use to get those really cool, uh, what we call 50-50 shots when we're out on the water. I'll throw a few up on the screen, but basically you can get the camera nice and into the water. There's a, a little mark where you can hold it in the water line and it will show you footage 50% below the water and 50% above the water. So you may have seen in fishing and boating magazines some really cool still photographs or even on YouTube channels, some really cool footage where you can see the fish swimming under the water but yet still see what's happening in the boat above. Or somebody might be standing there holding the fish while it's in the water. These are the devices that we use to capture that sort of imagery. I just want to explain a couple of differences between the older model and the new model and it all actually revolves around I haven't got enough hands the GoPro and other action cameras okay compact action cameras um, there's a whole range of them on the market now and Telesen actually offer this one is for the GoPro 5 but they actually offer a range of port designs to suit different action cameras all right and it's all to do with the size of the action camera and you can probably see the hole in there where the lens sticks through all designed around the shape and size of the action camera so this one's for the GoPro 5 the key difference from the older model which was for the GoPro 3 is a lot to do with the buttons on the GoPros themselves in the early model GoPro series they actually had a couple of different buttons on them. One on the front that you actually had to press to power the unit on, and then you could press the top button to start it recording or taking photos and things. Now, the button being on the front, when you look at the dome design, is problematic straight away because you can't get in there to press that front button, especially when you're underwater. And one of the problems when you're on the water is you don't want to be opening it, taking the camera out, pressing buttons with wet hands in a wet environment in salt water, and then putting it back in there, hoping that it doesn't fog up the entire dome and things. So I'm really hoping with the GoPro 5 now, which doesn't have a front button, all you do is you press the top button up here, And the unit powers up and starts recording straight away. What that means is all you need to access is on the back of the dome port now. So you don't actually need to open it up and get in there to turn anything on or adjust any settings. There's a button on the top and a button on the side. And on this little baby, that's all you need to access to be able to change settings, start recording, take still photographs, time lapses, anything you need to do on the new GoPro 5 and the GoPro 6. And this is how it looks inside the box. So you've got the dome port itself. Okay. And then you've got the instruction manual. 
and all the bits and pieces you need for the dome port to function. So we've got the trigger mechanism, the handle, uh, a little wrench, some anti-fog inserts, uh, extra screw that we're going to need, and a little uh, cord so that you can wrap it around your neck or on your wrist or something like that so it doesn't disappear in the water somewhere. Now, once you have the Teleson dome port assembled and put together, including having the camera inside the dome port ready to go, it really is simple to use. You can access all the settings through the button on the side. Just click on it and change the settings. And you can see what settings you're choosing by looking at the screen on the back through the clear perspex on the back of the dome port. And to start it once it's there, you just pull the trigger, ding, 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 and away it goes. And you can actually see in the back through the screen what you're actually filming so that you can frame your shot just right. Now, this, you can probably see it straight away. One of the issues I did find when I was out on the water at Pelican Bank is that when you have the trigger assembly on the handle, your vision or your ability to see that screen is compromised a little bit. You can still see left and right of it, okay? So you can still frame your shot and be able to line up what you're trying to film, but it is limited a little bit. And this is mitigated when you completely take the trigger mechanism off and just go with the handle part connected to the back of the dome. Now, one of the other things you'll notice in the footage that's been up on the screen is the water droplets appearing and staying over the dome during the shoot with the footage, okay? Now, I've tested this product as it is, as it comes out of the box. I haven't added anything to it, but you can get different sprays and things that you can put on the dome so that the water droplets basically run straight off and are not an issue. Now, build quality wise, all of the components, well, most of it is uh, plastic, heavy duty plastic, and there are the metal bits around the screws and things like that. The dome itself, very well constructed. It's pretty much similar to a lot of other designs you see on the market, okay? And I've noticed no water ingress into the dome at all. Now, when we talk about the build quality, there's one little part of the component tree which you need to watch, and it's something I learned the lesson from with the older dome port. Up the top, the clip that actually opens the back of the dome port open is the one part where I'm constantly worried it's going to break. And you pop it like that, and you open it up, and straight away you can see it's actually like there's a lot of salt corrosion in there, and it's a very thin little piece of plastic that's holding that together, all right? So it, it, mine's actually started to crack. All right, this is almost three years old. It's just started to crack and a lot of corrosions built up in it through exposure to the salt over and over. And I noticed that this part of the old dome port, it's the same in the new one. All right, same, same way of opening it up and same sort of design. And to me, that's the one part of this whole brilliant product that is, if you are a bit too rough with it, it's gonna fail and cause you all sorts of problems. Now there's two ways you can set up the camera port. First way is with the trigger mechanism attached. And the thing that I really liked about this configuration, apart from the easy way to access the button and turn your GoPro on and things, was that because of the shape of the trigger mechanism, it means that you can turn the handle all the way back like this, all right? So you're not restricted just to holding it down here. You can actually bring it all the way back. And basically when you're hanging over the side of the boat or you're putting it down in the water, it gives you that extra bit of length to be able to get it down and get the angle just right. So this is the other configuration you can use. Essentially without the trigger mechanism, so the handle is just connected to the bottom of the dome port itself. So folks, in summary, it's out with the old. It's served me really well. It's still going strong and it's captured some great imagery. 
but it's out with the old and in with the new. I really like the one-handed capability of this, being able to use the trigger mechanism and getting the leverage I need and being able to see my screen through the back perspex. I really like this product and it's going to be featuring and capturing a lot of imagery in my upcoming videos. So there you go, folks. I'm all done. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and leave a comment on your thoughts about the Teleson 6-inch camera dome. As always, take care and I really do hope one day to meet you all out on the water.